lovers. <sighs> so excited to be live with you guys. Happy Friday. Gonna leave you the shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all the makeup and so much more. And if you actually scroll to the bottom, you can use a search bar if you need to. But let me know if you guys need anything. Uh, go ahead and comment below. I'm gonna go ahead and post this on my personal page and then also send out a text notification, which if you're not in my text service, say, what's your number? And I can give it to you. So that way you can watch all of the lives. And I need your guys' opinion on something. I have to leave in like an hour to go get my nails done. I was supposed to have, I have a nail tech that actually comes to the house, which is so nice. She actually does like everyone I know's nails. It's so funny. If you live in San Diego, if you know Monica, you know, you know. She's so fantastic and she's so fast and she's so inexpensive. Like it's only like $35 for a fill, which is so good um, compared to like going to somewhere so much more expensive. But anyway, I she canceled on everybody it was funny she put it in it wasn't funny she put in a group text that she's canceling and there was like a bunch of my friends in there so i think we're all gonna go get our nails done together but the question is i don't know what color to do this is what the dress looks like so tomorrow we're going to a um a gala it's we go every year i think this is our third year going um it's we raise money for childhood cancer it's like a foundation based here in san diego um, it's actually incredible because one of our very close friends, her daughter just got diagnosed with leukemia. I'm sure you guys have seen me share her GoFundMe on my Instagram. Um, she is one of our good friends and she's Ryan's best friends, um, like right hand girl at work. Um, but anyway, her daughter's seven and it's so sad, but so thankfully she's able to get some help with that foundation. So that's what we're going tomorrow to raise more money for the foundation. But it's just like, such a, like a wow full circle to know that like this foundation that we help raise money for every year is actually like directly impacting our friends so um even more so um important to go tomorrow so anyway we're going tomorrow it's a gala it's actually really fun it's like a mini high school reunion everyone like in our little area all the adults go it's an adult only they do an auction they do like a really yummy dinner and then they do like dancing at the end it's always so much fun with all of our friends and it's for an amazing cause we raise a shit ton of money so this is the dress let me get it for you Okay, so this is the dress. <laughs> On camera, it looks way more red, but in person, it's like burgundy and it has these gold chains. See that? And then it's really pretty. It has like a low back. You can't really tell on the hanger, but the back's like lower. Okay, so this is the dress and then I'm gonna do gold heels with it. Okay, so the question is, what nail color should I do? I have Lincoln Park After Dark on right now, which is like a brownish red kind of. Do I do the same color nails or do I do like a redder color or do I do like a mixture of like a brown red? Or do I do the same color? I'm like so torn. I don't know. So tell me in the comments. I asked my girlfriend's group chat and one of them said nude and I was like... I don't know if I want to do nude nails. I feel like I want dark nails. I don't know. So comment below what nail color do you think I should do? So anyway, that's my predicament. I wanted it. I was thinking same color too, but I don't know. I felt like that was kind of boring. Chocolate chrome. Okay, somewhat my girlfriend said that too, but I'm so scared of getting chocolate chrome because the last couple times I've done that, it's like turned too light. So it's like a milky brown, which I don't want that. I definitely want like a darker color. Yeah, agreed, Kelly. Not red on red. I totally agree with you. All right, I'm using like the very last of this BB tinted moisturizer. So let's see if there's anything in there. <laughs> What you have on now, like a dark red. I did find this um, picture 
on Instagram and it was like a brown and a red. I was thinking that. Uh, it's like a combo. Ooh, I wonder if I could show you guys. But then I'm worried that it's too purple. <laughs> Let me show you. I have like a whole album on my phone dedicated to nails. Okay, what about like something like that? That's kind of what I was thinking. What do you what do you think? Oh, gold nails? I didn't even think of gold nails. Hmm. I've never had gold nails before. A few shades darker than the dress. I kind of agree with that too. I definitely didn't think of gold. That's interesting. I thought that one has chrome, but she didn't mention that there's chrome on it. She like wrote in the comments like what the combo was and it's two shades. It's, I even wrote it down. It's, it's one coat walnut brown and two coats cherry mocha. So she didn't say there was a, I would think that she would put that there was chrome, right? Thank you. I know I'm so excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun tomorrow. And we're going with like the same group of friends that we normally go with. It'll be a lot of fun. Gold. I didn't think of gold. That's an idea. Okay. So stay tuned on Instagram stories because I'll share, I'll share obviously what color I go with. All right. So we just put on like the lightest layer whoa, of cream foundation um, or cream of BB Tension Moisturizer. And this is actually like a really good example on like how you can get like a really soft coverage with this like you don't have to do like a full coverage yeah that's kelly i think i saw on her instagram is that megan yeah it is i saw on her story not not the details wait so did she do chrome on top kelly Ugh, now i need a messenger i feel like i talked to her every blue moon on instagram she's actually from so my sister-in-law i have two brothers one sister-in-law is actually from her little town in texas La Blanc or Blabac or whatever it's called. It's actually like a really small town, which is nuts. And that's actually where my sister-in-law is from. They actually know each other from high school. I know. I agree, Kelly. I might get sick of the gold. But I don't, I don't feel like I want to do the same color. Only because like, I just, I don't know. I won't feel like as like, mm, you know what I mean? Okay, but Kelly, do you, did she do chrome? On top, and did she say what color chrome? <laughs> now I need you. I don't know. I think you get. Yeah, I know. I feel like I get sick of the chrome. Okay, there's the BB Tension Moisturizer. So good. I love again that you can get like a very simple coverage with this. Like you can still see my freckles. It really doesn't look like I have any makeup on. Like it's that subtle and soft. So if you ever feel like you want something that just looks effortless and looks like you're not wearing anything, definitely go for the BB Tinted Moisturizer. This also has an SPF 30 and it's airless. So literally it sucks all of the product out. You guys, I have had this one singular, single bottle since the launch. So over a year and I'm still, still trucking, <laughs> obviously. It's pretty much gone now, but I would say it did pretty dang good. And then if you do need extra coverage, like I have a little blemish there. I have a little sunspot here that bugs me. Um, I have a little freckle there that bugs me. A little scar there that bothers me. Same here. You can use your concealer to spot treatment with that. So simple. And that way you don't have to wear like a whole nother layer of foundation. And then I did that little spot treatment with the shade Eyelet. So you want to do, if you're doing it this way, you want to do your concealer like spot treatment one as close to like your normal color as possible. And if you need help picking out your shades, just say color match and I can private message you. Oh, it's my favorite part interacting with you guys. I am not going to lie. When you guys don't comment, it gets really lonely over here. <laughs> I love talking with you guys. And if you guys have questions or if you need links or literally anything, I am an open book. And I feel like this is the easiest platform and easiest way to get to know me because it just feels very like conversational. Like you guys are my girlfriends and we're just chit chatting, getting ready together. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to Holler them out. Siobhan and powder, what color and cream? I would do the shade 5C. 
Okay, now I'm going to go in with concealer in the shade Lace. This is like one shade lighter than my, um, my BB Tension Moisturizer. And this concealer is so good. It's the same one that I use for all over, but I'm telling you guys, the caffeine infused in here and the peptides, so good. And like so soft on the skin. It looks amazing. And if you have like a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, this concealer is the best for you because it tightens and tones while you're putting it on. But it's packed, like I said, with those peptides. So it's very healing too. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay, no chrome. Okay, good. I know it kind of looked like she did have chrome. Sorry, I like accidentally thumbs up you. Yes, getting my nails done today. We are discussing what color to do. I'm wearing like this really pretty like burgundy dress and I just don't know what shade of nails to do. Yay, thank you for being here, Selena. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad she announced. She told me she wasn't gonna tell anybody that she had the baby for like a couple more days. And I logged on last night and saw that she announced. So I was so excited because that's, it's so hard for me not to tell you guys like what I'm up to. And not yesterday, but the day before I, finished going live. I went live with you guys. Remember how I was like, I kind of have news to share, but I can't tell you right now. My sister had the baby already. I was getting ready to go to the hospital when I was wearing that green set. Um, so I finished my live and then I went straight to the hospital and got to meet her. She is like the sweetest little soul. You know how like some babies just like give off this like really peaceful energy. I don't know. Maybe that like sounds too like, Bleh. but she really does. Like, she just is, like, the sweetest thing. And, like, last night, she's only, like, three days old. And she slept, my sister said, from, like, I think she said from midnight to 6.30 or something like that. Like, a huge, long stretch. Like, she is, like, the world's perfect baby. I'm so happy for my sister. And she literally looks like Royce, my daughter. They are, like, newborn twins. I keep saying I need to get, like, a good before and after, or not before and after, a good side-by-side -side picture um, of her little face so I can compare it to a baby picture of Royce, but she literally looks like Royce. It's so sweet. I'm so glad because Royce is a really cute baby. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you think so, Kelly? Thank you. Everyone always says she looks like my mom. Awesome. Yeah. Jen, send me a selfie facing a window. And I'd be happy to color match for you. How I'm going to do my hair. I actually have a lady coming to do it tomorrow. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to film it. I was thinking of making like a TikTok of how she's going to do my hair. I want to do it up just because I wear it down a lot. And I have to do my hair like really early tomorrow. So the event tomorrow isn't until like 4. But Abel has his soccer game tomorrow at 12.30. Royce has a bye. Thank God. So we only have one soccer game tomorrow. Uh, but his game's at 12.30, so I was going to do my hair at like 10.30, go to the game, and then come home and do my makeup. I probably won't go live to do my makeup just because I I get very like anxious when I do my own makeup for events. Like I like to just kind of like do it and decompress. I will definitely film it, but and I'll post it on my Instagram story and then or Instagram reel, and then I will recreate it like sometime this coming week. But I don't know. I like to like get ready really slow and just like listen to music and zone out when I get like ready for an event, especially if I'm doing my own makeup. So apologies, we won't be live tomorrow, but I will be posting everything like my makeup, my hair, my outfit, my dress, my nail color on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. And then if you click on the profile picture, the Instagram stories play. Thank you. I know I love her name, Charlie. That was actually on my list of girl names that I loved, but Ryan wasn't a fan. But it's really cute because it's um, his, my brother-in-law's dad is named Charles, and then his grandpa is named Charles, and then my dad's, my biological dad's middle name is Charles. My sister and my dad uh, aren't close anymore, but they... Out of the four of us, I would say she was arguably like the closest one to him for the longest time. Um, so her name is kind of owed to our family, which is so sweet. So cute. All right. Did my cream contour and cream foundation. Um, I love not cream foundation. I keep saying that. I did my cream contour cream blush with my BB Tinted Moisturizer. 
and I love using this BB Tinted Moisturizer. It's such soft, beautiful coverage. And that cream, when you put it on for your contour and blush, it just like snatches your cheeks, you guys. Like it makes your skin look so glistening, glowy, and just lifted. So if you are not using the cream, Bear You All in Color 6 to contour, I'm telling you right now, you need to buy them. They're so good. Yay! Thank you, Teresa. I love her little name. I know Charlie's so, so cute. Charlie Kate. And then, um, what was I going to say? Oh, how I'm doing my hair tomorrow. I think I want to wear it up, but I think I want to do like more PC, like random little pieces down. So it's very like whimsical. I've never gotten my hair done by this girl that's coming tomorrow. So everyone say a prayer for me that it turns out good. You know, like when you've never gotten your hair done or makeup done by someone and you're like, I don't know how it's going to look. I hope I like it. So everyone just say a <laughs> prayer that my hair turns out okay and I like it. And it holds because we are doing it so early. I got to go to the soccer game all glammed up. <laughs> people are going to be like, okay. A lot of people are actually going to the gala, so I'm sure I won't be the only one in dolled up hair and makeup. But we'll see. So hopefully it turns out good. We're going to go to a gala tomorrow. We're going to a gala that helps raise money for a childhood cancer. Okay, so now we're going to set everything with the pressed powder. I feel like a broken record with this pressed powder, but it truly is insane. Like, it is so good. It has shea butter and vitamin E and jojoba in it, so it's super silky soft and really nourishing for your skin. But not only that, it seals up all your foundation and makes everything just stay in place all day long. And it's super, like I said, silky soft. So it doesn't dry your skin out. It doesn't make you look dry or flaky or cakey or any of that. So cannot recommend enough to use it if you're not already. And again, if you are not sure what color you are in any of these products, just say color match down below and I'll private message you. And then I was going to mention too, if you want to save a ton of money. I actually have a bundle built for this makeup look. All you have to say is Flawless 5 BB, and I'll send you the link to be able to get all five of these items, 20% uh, off and free shipping. And what it is, is it's the BB Tinted Moisturizer, the concealer we used, primer, setting mist, and the pressed powder. So you get all five items, 20% off and free shipping. And then if we build the bundle on my Comigo site, you also get a free gift, which is the biocellular sheet mask it is only around, I think for like two more days, you get it for free with any order of three items. The kitties are so good. They're snoozing right now. I will take any tips or tricks, however. So we have these big pots in my house that have fig trees in them. I have three of them. Yesterday, Ryan like literally, literally caught her. One of the kittens trying to poop in it, like literally stopped it. Like she almost pooped in his hand. She did a little bit. <laughs> and so how do you prevent your cats from using the bathroom in your house plants? Give me the tips. People said put, what did I read? I bought a spray, but I'm like, I don't think that's going to work. I read that you should put like something on top of it, but I'm like, what? Like, what will I put on top of it that doesn't, like, hurt the fig trees, you know? So, if you have kittens, they're only, like, seven or eight weeks, so they're very new. So, obviously, it's going to take some training. Um, but if you have any tips or tricks, tell me in the comments. I need to know to protect my fig trees. He's good. He's awesome with cats. Okay, so we're going to go in now with the Fusion Highlight in the shade Golden. This is one of my favorite parts of my makeup look because it just makes your skin look so glisteny and so perfect. So good. Yeah, the little babies. Little tiny ones. Mm. Okay. I feel like I've heard about using mothballs. Oh, yeah, and see, that's the other thing. Our house smells really good right now, so I don't want to, like, make anything smell, like, weird. You know what I mean? Or, like, different. But I bought this spray, and I'm, like, nervous about using it because, again, of the smell. And then I thought, 
so weird. Do you guys ever like think about stuff and then you have dreams about it? Last night I had a dream that I covered the top with saran wrap and I thought maybe that would work. I don't know. So maybe I'd try that. But if you have any successful tips or tricks, let me know. I've heard aluminum foil, but one of my cats sat on it and looked at me like, really? <laughs> yeah, see, you watch. One of mine would be like that. I know my first thought was to put, like, plastic bags in there. But then I have plastic bags sitting in my fig trees. <laughs> That's not a cute look. Hate foil. But not good for decor, exactly. What about saran wrap? Do you think saran wrap would work? Like saran wrapping the whole, like obviously I'll cut a hole in the middle of it or just like saran wrap around the tree. Cause the pots are like really big. They're like, they're huge. Aluminum foil worked with your kitties. And what'd you do? Did you cover it or just stick the aluminum foil in there? Oh, to your cats peed on plastic? Hmm. Okay, filling in our brows with the brow pencil. Love. This brow pencil is like the easiest, best thing to use. E plastic. Okay, that's not good. Luckily that these trees are pretty like in line view. Like I don't feel like the cats would be near them without us knowing. So I wouldn't be too worried about them eating it, but I'd like to like eventually, like right now they're, I'm still keeping them in our bathroom during like when we're not with them. Uh, but I have, of course want them to like be able to like roam around, you know, over the soil. Okay, maybe I'll try that. All right, lip liner in Polite. And we're gonna overdraw a little. These lip liners, you guys, are so good. If you are not using these yet, they're waterproof, they're smudge-proof, and they're creamy. They glide right on, and they look so pretty. Super easy to overdraw your lips with. And then we're gonna take the lipstick in the shade Easy Street and put this on top. Now this one's more of a matte color, but it is so pretty. Yeah, I don't know if I would do the. A lot of the uh, tips or tricks that I was reading is for outdoor. So I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna top it with Hottie Lip Gloss, which is the world's best lip gloss ever because it plumps your lips while you're wearing it. And it leaves your lips looking so like high glossy, but it's not sticky. It's so pretty. So again, Easy Street Lipstick, Hottie Lip Plumper, and Polite Lip Liner is that combo. And it's just like a really good every single day one. And then we're gonna do a really pretty simple eye look. We're gonna take the eyeshadow stick in the shade Inquisitive which there are, uh, there is a special on my unique website, which is this right here. And they're doing a, if you buy three eyeshadow sticks, you get a free eyeshadow brush with the order. And then they're also doing a buy two for 15% off, buy three for 20% off mix and match. So you can choose any of these eyeshadow sticks or what I use for contour and blush. Uh, that's also an option. So if you want to check any of those out, just say September in the comments. I'll send it to you. If I'm foreseeing the cream color pressed powder, you'll want the shade Taffeta. Christine. If anyone else has any color matching questions, feel free to write them down below. If you guys have any questions in general, just let me know. Okay, so we're just going to keep blending this out. Okay. And then what I love about how nice these are, look how simple this is. Like it's the easiest thing ever to use. You can literally just draw like a crayon and we're just gonna smudge out that eye, like that simple. And same thing here, we're just gonna put it in the crease 
just going back and forth a little bit higher up a little bit lower just to make it easy for us to blend and then take your fluffy crease brush to buff it out these eyeshadow sticks are honestly the easiest things ever, especially if you have a lot of loose skin on your eyes or fine lines and wrinkles or oily eyelids. These eyeshadow sticks that I'm using are waterproof. They are crease proof. There's matte colors. There's metallic shades. There are so many good ones. And this color is the shade Inquisitive, which is just like a matte light brown. Just a very good, subtle, simple color. <laughs> Yes, if you don't, or if you do change colors with the winter or the summer, definitely make sure that you have your winter color on hand. You don't want to look too tan going into those burr months. Again, just smudging this underneath the eye. Super easy. And then we're going to take the eyeshadow stick in the shade Gleaming, which is a really pretty, pretty metallic gold. And then we're just going to put this all over the eye just right on the eyeball and then cream shadow brush to just very subtly softly blend it out and these are totally buildable meaning you can add more and more if you want you can mix the colors if you want you can mix them with liquid eyeshadows you can mix them with eyeshadow palettes like sky is the limit and they're so pretty this color is stunning because it has that metallic hue to it so it really is reflective to the light so it really draws the attention in which is pretty i'm one n in the cream foundation what pressed powder do i need let me think i would do the shade one n. i do the shade lace for you deanna in the pressed powder I love the cream foundation. It works as a wonderful coverage without being overdone. Great for my dark eye circles. Yay, I love that you love it. If you need any more, just private message me or make sure to grab it on my Comigo site because on my Comigo site, you get 10% off one item, 10% off two items. You get 10% off three items and a free gift. And then if you get four items, you get 20% off and a free gift, and you always get free shipping. So nice, and temporarily, they're not doing, they're not charging any tax. So, say website if you want to, ooh, wrong brush. Say website if you want to shop that deal. The only, like, catch, if you will, is they only ship to the U.S., and they don't have every single unique product on there, but pretty dang close. If you could only pick one full coverage foundation for mature skin, what would you recommend? Definitely the cream foundation. The cream foundation is gonna be the fullest option. All right, I'm gonna do some eyeliner in the shade Proper. And draw a little line here. Just along the lash line. Smoke it out a little. Okay, other side. Easy peasy. Yay, Mary, perfect. Let me know if I could be of any help to you. If uh, I already answered that one. Okay, eyeliner's on. Let's go ahead and set our makeup using the Prime to Set Mist. Feels so good and it sets the makeup so perfectly. It adds like this touch of like moisture into your skin too, which helps your makeup look so much better, so much more natural, so good. So if you are not using the setting mist, I cannot recommend it enough. And then like I mentioned too, um, I do have the Flawless 5 bundle. So that comes with your setting mist, your primer, your, your foundation of your choice. If you wanna do the BB like I did today, your concealer and your pressed powder. It comes with all of your items. The items on or the colors on my eyes, I did the 
eyeshadow sticks in the shade Inquisitive and Gleaming. All right, we're gonna go in with our twist and mascara first with the teeny tiny little one. This is a really nice little trick if you have hooded eyes or if you have really short eyelashes or you're just not that um, advanced at doing mascara. This helps to lift the lashes to make it a little bit more accessible and a little bit easier to go in with a bigger wand to grab onto your lashes. So after you do the little one, then you can go in with Quadra, which is such a good mascara. It has a tubing mascara infused in it, so it makes your lashes not only look longer, but it's infused with a lash growth patent pending formula similar to Grande Lash, so it literally makes your lashes grow like weeds while you're wearing it. So good. It's hard to do eyeliner like it when you have to wear glasses to see what you're doing. Yeah, I can imagine. Grab the uh, cami mirror that I was using because on the other side of that mirror it has magnification. That might help. All right, and then same thing on this side. Using the long black bristles. And then I like to go in with the short silicone bristles to lock in that length. Same thing over here. Okay, and then go in, thank you, and then go in with the twist of mascara one last time to really make these lashes pop. Okay, and then a tiny little one for reaching the harder to reach lashes, like the bottom lash line or the top and or, I should say. Yes, the candy mirror is such a huge help when it comes to doing your makeup. Highly recommend it. Say the word mirror in the comments and I'll give you the link to it. But Cami is the name of it and then it has magnification, so super helpful if you need extra help seeing and it tilts all the way back, which is super helpful if um, you just need extra help doing your um, eyeliner or anything. Oh no, if you're not getting my texts, try to sign up again. That's a little odd, but you can always resubscribe. So just say, what's your number? And I'll tell you how to subscribe. But basically you'll just text the word Raya Hope, all one word to the phone number. I'll write it in the comments, 866 oopsies, 554 2966. So text Raya Hope to that phone number and that'll opt you in to receive my notification. So I text you when I go live. I text you when there's new deals. I text you when like deals are about to expire or just started or anything like that. So let me know if I could be of any more help to you guys. I thank you for watching along. Uh, make sure again to follow me over on Instagram where I'll show you guys more uh, what nail color we choose. The finished makeup look for tomorrow's gala. They have finished hair for the gala tomorrow. I am so excited. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.